back test your strategy so uh, what i'll do is i will check the iv v for all the days uh, let's say uh, the ivp on some days was 70 uh, will i initiate my uh, the condition is ivp iv percentile has to be greater than 18 so on some days if iv is 70 i will not initiate my uh, i will not short the stra uh, straddle let's say if it goes to 79 uh, will i say that it is very close uh, to what the condition i have decided and let me go and open straddle the answer is no we should always stick to the rules we should not let our emotions uh, or greed come into the picture we cannot say okay i'm just very uh, curious to open the position let's open and see what happens don't do that always stick to the rules or system which you have uh, kept in mind and soon let's say ivp goes above 80 81 this is where we will short our straddle which is short one call option at the money and one short one put option at the money so this is how the payoff will look like and uh, let's say at expiry uh, there is not much change in the s p 500 uh, let's say it was at 3500 when we opened this position and at the expiry also this is 3500 then we could easily pocket the premium uh, let's say we collected uh, approximately 10 dollars uh, for setting up this so we can easily pocket this uh, premium this will go under our pnl column okay so so on we'll backtest this strategy over uh, last uh, five years of data and once we know that uh, Yes, uh, this strategy is profitable over five years. We can evaluate uh, this strategy using multiple measures, right? So what are the measures which we can look at? We can look at the sharp ratio of the strategy, which is nothing but the risk which I earned per unit of, uh, sorry, the returns which I earned per unit of risk uh, which I took. So that is uh, nothing but the sharp ratio. Uh, we will expect the sharp ratio to be higher than one. Uh, so that we know that we are earning uh, sufficient returns uh, compared to the risk which we are taking uh, but in options you should also be careful about uh, another thing which is sharp ratio does not capture which is the tail risk so tail risk is uh, the extreme risk uh, which we can see in the market let's say uh, uh, there are most of the times you are profitable let's say you are making money but there are some instances where you incur a huge loss let's say these are losses so this is zero uh, percent let's say and there are some instances where you incur huge loss uh, let's say these instances are let's say of 100 trade which you make uh, on an average uh, the returns are uh, maybe one percent and there are like few trades uh, maybe three trades where you made a 20 percent loss so sharp ratio will be good in this case because majority of time you are doing good but along with sharp ratio you should also evaluate uh, what is the max drawdown for this particular strategy so in this case it is minus 20 percent so along with minus 20 percent you should uh, look at sharp ratio let's say it is 1.25 uh, this will give you a complete picture of how your option strategy is doing okay so uh, let's say you validated sharp ratio you validated max drawdown and you can also evaluate the commonly used matrices like uh, uh, what is the average profit per trade uh, what is the average duration of the trade so on and so forth to get a better understanding of this so once you have a better understanding of the analytics and then you can decide okay this strategy is good and let me automate it so for automating uh, or uh, maybe systematically trading the strategy uh, you have to uh, select a broker so one of the most uh, popular broker which are used uh, which is used by everyone is let's say interactive broker so you go to interactive broker uh, you understand uh, their apis so there will be an api to get the data so you get the data for add the money uh, call and put because we want to set up a straddle so once we have the data we calculate the required parameters in this case it is simply ivp and once the ivp is calculated we simply uh, check whether ivp is greater than 80 or not 
if it is greater than 80 then we initiate a we place a, a we place order so here we'll place a sell order for uh, add the money call we'll place a sell order for add the money call and add the money put our straddle will be set up and it will start trading and once the reverse condition is true uh, we will let's say IVP goes uh, below 80 if uh, that is true uh, will square off our position so this is how you can automate it so one of the questions which will come to your mind is how to uh, which how to automate so there's a package known as iBridge PY which you can use uh, to connect with interactive brokers and automate your strategy.